Hello, welcome to today's episode of the Open Levels Daily Devotional Podcast. The Open Levels is written by our Father in the Lord, Pastor Hie Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. I pray that as you listen to today's episode, may you be blessed in Jesus' name. Let's study the Word of God together. Today is September 1st, year 2024. The title of our Openables for today is Who Owns You? Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. Thank you for the blessings of a new day. Thank you for your protection. Thank you for your provision. And for all that you have done for us, Father, we are grateful and we honor you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that even as we study your word today, Father, speak to us in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we also say thank you for the new month. Thank you because the month of September will be a month of blessings and a month of great things for us. For in Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Today, today, the topic of our open heavens is who owns you. But then, before we go into the content of the open levels for today, I want to wish us all a happy new month. I want to say, welcome to the month of September. And I pray that the month of September will be a month of blessings, a month of favor. The number nine signifies delivery. I pray that this month we will deliver great things. That the success, the grace, the blessings, and the mighty things that God has in plans for us will come to pass in the name of Jesus. That every of us that have an heart desire, there's the beginning of the year that has not happened. The Lord will grant your heart desires in the name of Jesus. May it happen so in the name of Jesus. Amen. So our memory verse for today is from 1 John chapter 4, verse 6. And it says, We are of God. He that knoweth God heareth us. He that is not of God heareth not us. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. And a Bible passage is from 1 John chapter 4 from verse 1 to 7. I read from the New Living Translation. Dear friends, do not believe everyone who claims to speak by the Spirit. You must test them to see if the Spirit they have comes from God. For there are many false prophets in the world. This is how we know if they have the Spirit of God. If a person claiming to be a prophet acknowledges that Jesus Christ came in a real body, that person has the Spirit of God. But if someone claims to be a prophet and does not acknowledge the truth about Jesus, that person is not from God. Such a person has the spirit of the Antichrist, which you heard is coming into the world, and indeed is already here. But you belong to God, my dear children. You have already won a victory over these people, because the spirit who lives in you, is greater than the spirit who lives in the world. Those people belong to this world, so they speak from the world's viewpoints, and the world listens to them. But we belong to God, and those who know God listen to us. If they do not belong to God, they do not listen to us. That is how we know if someone has the spirit of truth or the spirit of deception. Dear friends, Let us continue to love one another, for love comes from God. Anyone who loves is a child of God and knows God. May the Lord bless the reading of his word in our hearts in Jesus' name. Amen. So let's go into the contents of the open heavens written by our Father in the Lord. When you read Bible verses like 1 Corinthians 6.20, which says that you have been bought with a price, you might begin to wonder, bought from who? When did I consent to being owned by someone else, which warranted buying me off that fellow? 
This expression in itself tells us that every human being, whether they know it or not, and regardless of how they feel about it, is owned by a spirit. Everyone was conceived in sin. Psalm 51 verse 5 And until they become born again, they remain properties of the devil. Nobody is totally independent. Every single person is owned by one spirit or the other. The question now is, who owns you? You can tell who owns a property by the way the property is being used. A property will reflect the character and personality of its owner. That is why Matthew chapter 7 from verse 18 to 20 says, A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is ill down and cast into the fire. Wherefore by their fruit ye shall know them. If ye are honed by Christ, people will see the character of Christ, which is also known as the fruit of the Spirit in you. Does your character reflect love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, and temperance? That is according to, the Gal- to Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 to 23. Those are the fruits of the Spirit. If this, if this does not define you, then it is likely that it is not God who holds you. Since there are only two divides in the spiritual, the kingdom of darkness and the kingdom of God. Anyone that God does not own is owned by the devil. This person will automatically engage in the works of the flesh as listed in Galatians 5, 19-21. When you read that passage, you will see that many of the people who do these things do not even know that they are acting in accordance with their owner, the devil. For example, many people who envy think that it is just natural for humans to envy. They don't know that envy can only stay in in their hearts because they are not owned by the one who is love himself. The Bible tells us in Romans chapter 6 verse 16, Know ye not that to whom ye yield yourselves servants to obey, his servants ye are to whom ye obey, whether of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness. When Christ becomes your owner, you will no longer behave in line with the character of the devil. Surrender your life to him today if you are yet to do so. Hallelujah. So, I open heavens for today. I think it is self-explanatory. The way we behave is a reflection of who owns us, the spirit ruling us, the spirit that is guiding us. So, when we behave in a way that, um, let me say, it reflects the devil, then that means that it is the devil that owns us. Our Father and the Lord Noted that if we are of God, then the fruit of the Spirit must reflect in our life. So I pray that God will help us to portray the character of Christ who bought us with a price in the name of Jesus. And our reflection for today, based on the fruits of your character, who really owns you. Then our hymn for today is, I am dying, O Lord. And our Bible in one year is from Ezekiel 28 to 30. Shalom. Thank you for listening to today's episode of the Open Heavens Daily Devotional. I believe you have been blessed. If you love to reach out to us, kindly reach out to us via this phone number. Plus 234 and if you want to reach us, reach out to us. If you want to reach out to us by email, you can reach out to us via the email contact at beautifulrosesnigeria.org. And also, if you like to sow into this podcast, you can also 
reach out to us via the website there is a place for donations there or you can also send us an email and if you can also visit our website for more educational and Christian content. Thank you. God bless you and have a great day. Bye.